Today we're going to be upgrading this PC using this upper end, high end cooling system for the computer. I'm going to get over and I'm going to explain to you the proper way to do it and things not to do when in changing the, pro the processor cooling fan. What you have to do is just determine which type of mount you have and this one is a screw mount and you'll have to turn these half a turn each and remove the wire from the motherboard and pull it off. So you'll need to remove the old paste off the CPU. Now you'll need to do that with alcohol and a wipe. As you use the wipe, now make sure that you, whatever you do, if you, if you don't have a wipe like I am using, make sure you use a, you know, an old rag or something. Do not, under no circumstances, use a paper towel. The reason being, the paper towel can leave fab fibers of all types and prevent the heat sink from properly seating on the unit. Applying the grease, the biggest mistake people make, of course, is that they put too much. The idea is to place a very thin coat of the thermal paste over the metal to actually fit in the grooves. If you put too much, it'll inhibit it cooling and you'll actually have more problems. You're evenly applying it. Now, if you'll notice, it's evenly applied, but it's a very thin coat, just enough to fill the gap between the, the processor and the cooler. Completed this your CPU will take up a lot of the new CPU cooler will take up a lot of room but that's okay because the heat sink if you properly installed it and put it on right will keep that processor cool and make gaming a lot more fun hey hope this has been helpful for you